Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about math in Dart. Math is used to generate a random number, find a power of a number, find a maximum number or find a minimum number. You can use math to perform mathematical calculation. Let me share my screen and let's see a demo. Okay, here you can see how to generate random numbers in Dart. Okay, first of all, let me uh, open my Visual Studio code and let me write my main method here. Okay, here is main method and let's generate a random number between 0 to 9. Okay, for that, uh, first I need to import random. Okay, here you can see. I need to import dot math sorry not random it's dot math first i need to import math at the top and then i can create object of random okay random i'll say random is equal to new random or if you don't write new then it will be also okay fine okay now let's generate a random number integer random number is equal to random dot next int i'll say next int okay and in maximum i'll say 10 if i run this program uh, let's print the random number is dollar random number okay let me write full stop here and if i run this program here you can see that our file name is math work dot dot okay here you can see the random number it is five if i run this program again you can see the random number is two if i run this program again random number is eight okay okay random number is one okay uh, in this way you can generate a random number between uh, any number starting from zero okay uh, let's uh, let me write a for loop okay I'll say for integer i is equal to 0, i is less than 100, i plus plus, okay. In loop, I'll generate a random number, okay. Random number 10, I will all, only print this random number. Let me run the program. Okay, here you can see. Uh, to find the maximum and minimum number this is i'm what i'm doing is okay here you can see uh five got printed and seven got printed zero also got printed and nine also got printed this program generate a random number only this program generate a random number between zero to nine okay if you want to print one to ten then just write plus one at the end okay plus one this will generate a random number between 1 to 10 here you can see 10 is included okay this is the way to print random number okay if you are creating a card game then you need to generate a random number if you are creating dice game then you need to generate a random number random number are very very useful in our daily life okay okay now let's move to another section that is generate random number between any numbers okay let me uh, create a new file called random2 dot dot okay let me write a main method here void main and okay let's generate random number between any numbers here is the formula to generate random number between any number i will copy this one and paste it here this is the formula okay first of all let me write integer minimum number is equal to 10 and integer maximum number is equal to i will say 25 okay and for the random we need to import dot math okay okay i will create a new variable integer r a n d is equal to this formula and let me print random number okay if i run this program our file name is random 2 dot dot okay if i run this program you can see 15 got printed if i print the number again you can see 20 got printed and our maximum number is 25 
here you can see 15 got printed minimum number is 10 okay let's uh, write this code into for loop i will plot this code and i'll write a for loop for uh, that will loop till uh, that will loop 100 times okay i is equal to 0 i is less than or I, I is less than 100 i plus plus okay and then okay let's run the program okay here you can see 15 got printed and uh, 25 got printed okay our maximum number is 25 25 got printed and our minimum number is 10 let's see where is 10 10 10 okay i think here is uh, 10 somewhere okay here is 10 okay 10 also got printed and 25 also got printed in this way you can generate number uh, generate random number between any numbers okay this is the very very easy formula you can just use this formula to generate a random number okay now let's move forward random dot boolean uh, you can use uh, random dot next bool to ge uh, generate boolean value boolean value means true or false okay let's uh, create a new file random 3 dot dot okay let me write a main method here and i will say int sorry boolean result is equal to random dot next bool okay if i run this program and uh, print the result okay i will run the program dot random three dot dot okay here you can see false got printed if i run this program again true got printed if i run this program again uh, true got printed if i run this program again true and then true okay true okay true true okay again true true okay it is only printing true okay let's run it again okay false okay uh, sometimes it print uh, true and sometimes it print false okay 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 in this way you can generate a random boolean value you can also search for uh, different things just like random dot next integer next double you can also generate a double value if i say next double and i will say double here then uh, if i write semicolon at the end then if i run this program you can see double uh, number got printed from 0 to 1 okay this is the range between 0 to 1 if i run this program okay in this way you can generate a double uh, random number okay and uh, here is also the same example here is another example to generate a list of random number okay here you can see if i copy this program and paste this program paste this code here you can see if i run this program then it will generate a random number in list okay if i run this program again then it have different numbers okay you can generate 100 numbers also just write 100 here this will generate 100 random numbers okay in this way you can generate random numbers in that this is also a uh, very useful uh, whenever you want to uh, generate a list of random number many random numbers okay okay here are also some useful math functions uh, one is power power 10 comma 2 uh, you can write anything any number especially 10 comma 2 means 10 into 10 that is 100 okay maximum 10 comma 2 that is 10 here the maximum number between 10 and 2 is 10 minimum number 10 and 2 uh, minimum number between 10 and 2 is 2 and sqrt 25 means square root of 25 okay let's uh, do the example okay mm, i'll say random 4 random 4 dot dot and let's write our main method okay and first of all uh, i will write integer n1 is equal to 100 integer n2 is equal to 200 okay mm. okay let's find the min uh, maximum value okay integer max is equal to max n1 comma n2 
okay here you can see that I, we printed that dot math here is also the formula max uh, max number one comma number two okay now seems this is fine okay i'll uh, i need to write maximum okay maximum i'll say minimum minimum this is mean okay and then let's find the power power i'll say pow that is already defined power of 10 comma 2 i will say 10 comma 2 that is 10 into 10 if you write 3 here yeah, then 10 into 10 into 10 we need to write double okay okay let's see what is the problem okay the value of norm can be assigned to the variable type double okay let me write norm here okay that is fine okay and then another one is square root okay i'll say norm s q u s q u a r square root is equal to s q r t i'll say square root of 125 okay let's see example let's see the result okay now let me print the max number is dollar maximum print the minimum number is dollar minimum print the power power is dollar p o w e r power and then the square root is dollar s square root okay okay if i run this program that is random four dot dot okay i will run the program okay here you can see uh, the maximum number is 200 because uh, in 100 and 200 the maximum is 200 the minimum number is 100 okay 100 that is fine the power is uh, 1000 that is 10 into 10 into 10 is equal to 1000 that is correct and the square root is 11 point something okay if you write 25 here then square root of 25 is 5 yeah if i run this program here you can see the square root is 5.0 in this way you can find a, a maximum number minimum number power and square root you must write that uh, dot uh, math that colon math at the end and i hope you understood about math in that if you have any question then comment down below if you like this video hit the like button and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching